Welcome back to Definite Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of crazy kooky kids in love that love checking out some video game trailers together. You always roll your eyes whenever I do that. <laughs> I keep like this knowing smile. Just like, yep, that's my husband. That's all I gotta so, say. So, uh, this is a trailer that uh, has been on our list to get to for a while now. And one of the reasons that I'm kind of super excited about it is it's got, I guess, Norman Reedus is, is in it from Walking Dead. And we're fans of that. Definitely. And uh, so, I think we stuck, we stuck with it, you know, for, for a very long time. I think the last couple seasons, maybe, we, as soon as Rick died, that was. Where I kind of like didn't need to watch it week to week. Then I could, you know. Yeah. Wait, maybe till because on Netflix would binge it. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm watching it week to week right now. She's still watching it week to week. But uh, so this is Death Stranding launch trailer. That's what this is. Uh, it's, I, I don't know anything about it other than, you know, one of the subscribers said that Norman Reedus was in it. So. And that's good enough for us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Sam, what does America mean to you? The way my dad made it sound, we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work setting up Cairo Network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a Cupid. This is how we'll rebuild our country. Extinction's on hold for now. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. We're still here. We're still chugging along. 
Not everyone. Amen. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. It wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on. Even I was welcome. Extinctions each caused by an extinction entity. And now it's time for number six. Take care of Lou. I will. And final work he's still mother is to port not say. It's done and all. <laughs> the decommissioning order finally came through. Dead. Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. I had no idea until you told me. No idea that I was alive. Living is no different from being dead if you're all alone. On the beach, Sam. Our beach. The one where I was born. Come and find me. I'm not the only one wearing masks either. There's your boss man. And that woman. And oh! Let's not forget little old you. Did I ever tell you my real name? I wanted to. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except Amerigo was full of it. He lied. America is a lie. I wasn't sure when it ended because, like, you know, as soon as I thought it was going to end, something else happened. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was, uh, that looked like an amazing story. And the, the story's either going to be amazing and epic, or it's going to be super convoluted, and you know, I'm not going to have no idea what the hell's going on. <laughs> I was just, from, from right off the, off the top, I was, I was surprised at how relevant this game is to now. Like, I don't know how long it's been out or, or really much of the history it's of the game. It's a year. Um, but the whole, in an age of isolation, and a yeah. society divided. I mean, it was just so topical. Um, it had like elements of also like the kind of like the Matrix there with like the, the baby like in, and you know, and obviously no like a little baby like a little, little when the little baby like was harvested like, baby. <laughs> yeah, but when he was like Err, to like the person that Norman Reedus was fighting, I was yeah. like, oh my god, it's little ass kicker. <laughs> <laughs> little ass kicker has followed Norman Reedus to this game. I love that baby. <laughs> I don't know anything about it except that, but that's enough. Well, that, and, and the president, when like uh, everything started to like um, go away, like the whole background, it was like mm -hmm. it wasn't real, and so um, uh, you know, there's there's elements of that, and then like people with the skull masks, it had kind of, yeah. sort of like this uh, 
like fantasy uh, element to it that yeah. was kind of you know like uh, not like Lord of the Rings, but you know kind of something. No, there's. I'm. I'm not sure what the right one is either. Yeah. But there, there is a fantasy. It's definitely fantasy sci-fi. Like Willow. That's what it is. Yeah. You got very excited with that. <laughs> a Willow reference. Yes, I, I can finally use it. <laughs> um. I also just thought the graphics were really. Yeah. Impressive on this game. Um. I mean, it, it must be weird to like see yourself as a video game character, like you know, if, like for like for the actors that were in it. I mean, just because yeah. it looks exactly like Norman Reedus. Yes. And, uh, you know, there's technology for that. And I liked how it went from the cinematic to the gameplay. And so you saw some gameplay within that trailer as well. Yeah, definitely. But, I, I, I mean, I, I want to play it. I, I just, I'm super fascinated by what it's all about. And it seems like a great story. And it feels sort of like a, a warning to to our society now. Like, this is the direction we're going. And maybe not when they talk about, like, the mass extinction events and various things like that. It's like, yeah, let's play our way out of this mess. Yeah, exactly. You know, if it can be entertaining and have a message, hey, that's, that's great. <laughs> Uh, so thanks so much for recommending this trailer to us. And uh, now that you've seen our reaction to Death Stranding trailer launch, just keep in mind... It's definitely not definitive.